Hey guys, welcome back. We're continuing to do this one here. This is still unit 411 and uh, it's the second question. And we just, you know, figured out the size of the capacitors that we would need to, cut, to correct this thing. And here, look at this. If connecting the capacitors for a 90% in a Y configuration, calculate the value of the capacitors in microfarads. Well, let's take a look at that one for a second, guys. And I'm running out of room here. So I'm going to get another piece of paper out here and we're going to put it right there. So we've got some sort of three phase motor here and it looks like it's telling us that we are connecting our capacitor bank that we just calculated to correct to 90%. Oops. Okay. Uh, like this in, in Y. All right. And so it's in parallel with, you know, whatever load that is out here. Uh, it doesn't say if it's Y or Delta and it doesn't really matter. It's connected out here in parallel with it. And it's saying, uh, you know, this is the thing that we're worried about. Now we just calculated that, um, this thing here is 20, you know, 0 0.4, 2461 of ours. Okay. And so that one's 20,000, 20.4 K, 24 point K. 20.4 kV, kV bars, all three of them. And it's asking, you know, calculate the value of the, mic of the capacitors in microfarads. Well, this is going to be very similar to single phase, okay? If you know the VARs of the capacitor, it's going to be a two-step process, okay? So step one, guys, was use this formula right here to calculate how many ohms it is, okay? And that's this one right here. VARs is equal to E squared over XC, and so XC is equal to E squared over VARS, right guys? And uh, we're gonna figure out how many ohms this thing is, and so it is. Now here's the trick here, guys. This is nine, 600 volts. That is the line voltage, E line, you know, is 600 volts. But I can't use 600 volts in this formula because that guy doesn't see 600 volts. It's connected Y, so it sees, you know, 300 346.4, basically. If this line voltage, you know, is 600, what is the capacitor actually connected to? E phase, all right? And so what I have to do first is calculate E phase for this calculator, and it's gonna be 600 divided by root three, guys, and so it's going to be, you know, it's going to be 346.4. 346.4 volts. Okay. And that is the voltage that I need to use here. Okay. Because XC is going to be the voltage dropping across the capacitor divided by the VARs of the capacitor. The voltage dropping across the capacitor squared. Okay. Divided by the VARs of the capacitor. Now, if this thing happened to be delta, and it said here if connecting the capacitors in delta, I would still need to use the phase voltage in this formula, but the phase voltage would be equal to the line voltage, okay? So it would be, you know, less of a big deal because E line is equal to E phase, so I go 600, you know, 600 over, squared over 2461, all right? But it's really important to notice how it's connected. And if it's Y, I have to take the line voltage and divide by root three before I apply this formula. If it's delta, I still have to use the phase voltage, but it will be equal to the line voltage. So I can, you know, just use the line voltage, 600 divided by 600 squared divided by the bars. Anyway, sorry about that. 346.4 squared over 2461. All right, guys. So let's try that. 346.4 squared divided by 2461. Looks like they are 5.86, you know, four ohms each. Okay, guys. And uh, that's step one. And then step two, I don't want to go off the page here. It looks like I am already is going to be this formula right here. XC is equal to 1 over 2 pi FC. So C is equal to 1 over 2 pi FXC. 
And so C is equal to 1 over 2 times pi times 60, okay, times 5.864, all right. And so we're going to do that here for a second. We'll go 2 times pi times 60 times 5.864 equals, and then hit 1 over x and equals, and it's going to come to uh, point zero 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 four five two three farads, which is equal to four hundred and fifty two point three microfarads. All right, guys, and that is the answer. Okay, guys. <sighs> All that work. All right, for this one, 452.3 microfarads. What did we do there, guys? Same as single phase. We figured out how many ohms it was, but we need to be careful to use the phase value of voltage. And since it was Y, I had to calculate it using divide by root 3. Step 2 was the same as single phase. Also, you must use the phase value of the capacitors each in here because there's also the whole bank 61 that's not going to work okay guys so you need the voltage dropping across the thing divided by the vars of the thing okay not the whole bank okay guys so one more okay calculate the line current after correcting to you 290 percent well so let's do it right here E, okay now the formula for VA we're going to use the VA to calculate the line current but the VA formula isn't E line times I line it is E line times I line times root 3 okay and so if I transpose this formula I line will be VA over E line times root 3 okay and don't even think about just taking the VA and dividing it by the voltage. That's single phase, okay? This is the VA formula for three phase. If you want to calculate the line current, you must use the whole formula. So the VA, after correction, guys, to 90% was 50,000, and E line is 600, and root three, okay? And you must put that in brackets, you know, what I do is I calculate the bottom first and then I hit 50,000 over the answer. But if you just type in there 50,000 divided by 600 times root 3, you'll get the wrong answer, okay? So what I do is I go 60, 600 times root 3 and hit equals and then I hit 50,000 divided by that answer equals. Looks like it's 48.11 amps, okay, after correction. 48.11 amps. Now, this thing was drawing 91 amps okay, before correction. We've corrected it. It's drawing 48.11 amps now when I've corrected it to 90%. If I calculated it at unity, it'd be even lower. All right, guys? And uh, I don't know. Terrible. I know. Okay, but the thing to remember guys is to do it the same way you do it in single phase okay you're gonna draw an uncorrected power phaser diagram remembering that it's three phase okay finish the drawing completely up and then draw a corrected phaser diagram remembering that the capacitor bank that you calculate is indeed the bank and not one capacitor and so when you're answering these questions you have to remember that there are three capacitors in each bank so you can divide it by three but uh, that's it okay same with D here when you're calculating the ohms make sure you use the phase voltage here and so it matters whether it's connected Y or Delta okay uh, come back and we'll do number one and I know it's tricky but if you do your homework and practice it'll get easier okay guys Stick around for the next video.